Grime Stoppers Niagara and their many supporters gathered at Herndur Estates recently. Gail Davidson explains the occasion. Tonight's event is an appreciation evening for Crime Stoppers of Niagara and we just wanted to thank all of the people that help us in our program and that's including members from the community, the media and the police. As Gail Davidson and Chuck Shaffley explained, the relationship between Crime Stoppers and the Niagara Regional Police Service is unique. From the Niagara Regional Police they provide great support. They, uh, they give us the program uh, uh, coordinator, Gail Davidson, provide us with uh, an office to work out of and uh, immense support obviously through the detectives and so on. A lot of people believe that Crime Stoppers is a police program and it's not. It is a community program. It is run by the community. There's a volunteer board of directors of 11 members that actually oversee and run the program. And of course we work in cooperation with the police. Uh, the police department does um, give us, my, myself, I'm the only paid employee, and um, there's members of the community, of law enforcement, the media, we all work together for Crime Stoppers. You've taken a step in, uh, joined the World Wide Web. Uh, tell me about that and, and how has that worked out? We're very excited this year to announce that we've, we are on the World Wide Web. We're at www.crimestoppersofniagara.com and that just gives people another outlet to look and find out about Crime Stoppers. And there's the Crime of the Week on there. You can find out about Crime Stoppers. It explains about the program and about the very most important thing about Crime Stoppers and that's anonymity. Members of the Board of Directors meet monthly to determine the amount of reward money that is handed over to anonymous tipsters, whose information has led to an arrest and conviction. The Board basically is a, is a civilian group that uh, administers the program. We uh, do the fundraising, look after the promotions of the program, and we deal with the issue of rewards. We set the amount of uh, rewards for successful tips. Uh, the funds are generated uh, basically from fundraising efforts that we have at Crime Stoppers. Really, um, uh, we, we have, we've had a number of events in the past. We've, we've held the Ontario Crime Stoppers Conference in Niagara Falls a number of years ago. Um, basically, we fundraise like a lot of uh, charitable organizations do these days uh, by, by selling Nevada tickets. Um, we've had a murder mystery dance. Uh, where we've generated funds. We've asked uh, for corporate funds from corporate partners in the area. The insurance companies are now actively looking to reduce the, um, the claims that they're dealing with and they're looking for fraudulent claims so they're willing to pay Crime Stoppers back for the crimes that we're solving. Crime Stoppers Niagara has just celebrated 16 years and now looks forward to another milestone. The number, the one number that we're looking at right now, and we've, we've had a goal of uh, 1,000. We wanted to get to 1,000 in the year 2000, and we came up a little short. We're at 983 at the end of the year. Um, I guess to put that in perspective, um, it amounts, if, if you do the math, it amounts to about one arrest every six days over the last 15 years. So I think that's pretty successful. We're celebrating that tonight. Reporting for Daytime, I'm Mark Bennett.